got here, I was going to talk about. I'm not sure if I'm going to do chickens over here in this area behind the greenhouse. It gets shade over here and I was going to do a shade a shaded garden bed over here. A couple garden beds over here. But then I thought about chickens, but when I couldn't make up my mind, I went ahead and I sheet mulched it anyway. Because if I do change my mind and decide to do the garden beds, I want this definitely to be ready to uh, build on for the garden beds. So I went ahead and I sheet mulched it with the cardboard. And the snow has done a great job in um, tamping it down. So, um, and then we're going to get some more snow. But when spring comes, I will pile the compost on top of here. If I decide that I'm going to do garden beds. Um, and actually, I probably won't do beds. I'll probably try to do an in-ground um, garden over here for the shady crops. But in any case, this is how you would want to prepare a garden bed. You want to build up. It's the easiest way... It is the fastest way to get organic matter into your soil. And it's the best way for your soil, honestly. It's the best way for your garden and it's the best way for your plants. Um, just go ahead and sheet mulch it. That's cost you nothing. Cardboard is pretty much free. You can find that anywhere. And um, just pile on your leaves. Um, any kind of organic material, your chicken manure, your rabbit manure, you know, different things like straw, <clears throat> and just pile it on, pile it on, pile it on. You Normally, you would want to do this in the fall and then let it sit all the way till spring and then add fresh compost on top of that, about four to six inches of fresh compost. And then you got yourself a garden bed. It's really simple and it's really cheap because you use the resources that you have available. The cardboard, the leaves, um, things like that. If you have animals, then you get manure. Um, and if you have the money, then hey, go ahead and spend the money and get some soil put in. Um, but it is best to pile on the organic materials. And that's how you would want to set up your garden bed. Now, you have to keep in mind how big you want the garden bed. Now, like this area here, I can probably do <clears throat> maybe a keyhole where I would come along this way and then along this way and then along this way. I could do that. I could do beds going this way maybe three beds going this way or I could go long ways two beds going this way you want to make sure that your beds are not going to be too wide that you cannot comfortably get into them without having to step on them okay because you don't want to be stepping on your soil you want to make sure that they're not too wide so I think like two feet is good or even four feet because then if you can get to the beds from both sides, then you can do two feet on one side and two feet on the other. So four feet would probably be the max on the width of the bed. The length of the bed is up to you and how comfortable you are with having to walk all the way around to get to the other side. <clears throat> and then the pathways to get between the beds, you know, you only need so much room in order to comfortably move around between the beds. Now, if you're in an area where you are going to be moving wheelbarrows through there or, you know, carts or what have you, then you have to take into consideration how much space you're going to need in order to get those things moved in and between. But um, other than that, that's pretty much the space that you would want to keep it at. Um, new gardeners, I wouldn't suggest overdoing it. 
you know. For a new gardener, I would suggest maybe starting out with two beds um, at the most. Three beds if you want, really want to, you know, push it. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. Don't create more work than you need and more work than you're going to be able to handle. So two to three beds is usually good for a new gardener. And um, what else did I want to say? might seem like a crazy thing to talk about <clears throat> when we got all this snow in the ground but what I wanted to say about the garden beds when you're making when you are deciding on which way you want your garden beds to lay um, take into consideration that the Sun arcs east to west Okay, so you want your beds to lay east to west. That way the sun can cover the whole bed. All right, your whole bed will get some sun exposure. Um, and if you live in the northern hemisphere, you want your tallest plants to be on the north side of the bed. And if you live in the southern hemisphere, you want your plants to be on the south side of your bed. That way, your taller plants don't shade out your shorter plants. Unless, of course, you are aiming for that. Okay, so just keep that in mind when you are setting up your bed. But um, as far as orientation is concerned, East to west is best. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of it. And until next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Bye, guys.